Hi, everyone. Hope you're doing well. I've been trying to get an update out to you for Madison all day. So I am here now. Um, let me come over and read this to you. This actually comes from her brother, Kyle. And um, I can actually show you some of the photos here. And then we'll read through these. Um, actually, we did read through this one already. This is from last time. We, we did read through this. And we read through this one. And that was the profile that it's under. Um, that's supposed to be the red truck that her boyfriend drives. October 3rd, it says, happy birthday. Baby, wish we could have spent today together. But, of course, I messed it up with our stupid argument. But I hope you are in a safe place. And I hope to be able to see you again, hopefully, by tonight or tomorrow. I still love you so much. Just remember that, baby. Um, happy birthday, baby. I love you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day. Um, I miss you so much. Hope everything is okay. Can't wait to see you again. Baby, please, this is the fourth. If you see this, come back. I really need you. I wanted to spend yesterday with you, but I had to fuck it up. But just remember, I love you so much. You are my everything, and I will always be here for you. I promise. Let me read to you the post, right? So let me get the post here. All right. Update on Madison. My sister has still not been found. We believe she is with her boyfriend, hiding with him at his parents' house or somewhere with the parents' assistance. I have spoke with her directly via Facebook call, so we know she is alive, but her whereabouts are still unknown, along with the status or condition she may be in. This is not the first time we've dealt with her running away with her boyfriend, Kyler. The first time that she ran away, his mom picked her up from her dad's house at the age of 14 and brought her to their house. When we found her there at his house, they wouldn't let her come outside. The cops had to be called, and we had a knife pulled on us while she was hiding inside. The cops returned her to my mother, and nothing else happened. The amount of threats and harassment we faced from multiple family members of his has been ridiculous over these past two years. They've helped and put lies into her mind about running away and being emancipated since she was 14. Another time that she ran away, we had to track her down, and lucky enough, we located them both at Lake Thunderbird. Instead of the unlicensed boyfriend stopping, he attempted to elude my brother and I as we tried to stop him. We called police and he was pulled over shortly after and charged with harboring a runaway and driving without a license. Madison states charges are getting dropped. He was released to his parents immediately and Madison to hers. Fast forward to now, there has been countless threats, driving by houses and revving engines and nothing has gotten done. Madison ran away with her boyfriend nearly two months ago and until he posted that he hadn't seen her, we suspected them to be together. And that's what his family stated as well. We have been constantly lied to, threatened, and his family has been zero help in returning Madison home. Neither of them have attended school and both are under the age of 17. This has been and still is a very complex situation as we wish Madison would just come home to her family that loves her. She continues to hide and the police do nothing about it. Our hands are tied and only wish for her to safety education and thinking about her future. There uh, has been accusations about abuse in the home and negative comments about my family. And I am here to say those are completely untrue. If there was any abuse, I'd be the first to put it to rest. She has nothing but love and we've grown tired of the games being played. 
I hope for the future that others do not have to go through this nightmare of a runaway and a family who makes it even worse, plus police officers who do absolutely nothing about it. We had zero contact up until my post last week about her missing when her boyfriend said that he hadn't seen her. Seems very convenient that when a post is made, all of a sudden she contacts contacts us, which I am 99% sure it's not her most of the time. Most of her comments and responses ha have not sounded like her at all. And we thank everyone for the support and hope for her return home soon. Um, and then he tagged um, News Channel and the police department. And then there's this update here. Um, the post begins here. I was hesitant on posting this because the last two years, I haven't been able to get any kind of closure or help. I am Madison's mom, the runaway who has been missing. I want the world to know Madison has never been a bad kid. The most trouble she ever got into was her grades. Two years ago, right before she turned 15, she got grounded for her grades and was able to convince her boyfriend's mom to go to her dad's and pick her up and bring her back to her, their house to hide her. Once we figured out where she was, instead of his family being adults, they pulled weapons out on us and the police had to be called to get my daughter out of his, this house. Nothing was done to them for driving across town to pick my child without anyone knowing and to hide her in their home. Nothing was done for them pulling weapons on us. Nothing. Another time, my screen was cut. My screen was cut on my daughter's window. And according to police, quote, his family found them at a rental house the very next morning. Again, nothing was done. The third time, after endless nights and days of her unlicensed boyfriend driving by my house, revving engine, peeling out, she left again with him and was found with him at Lake Thunderbird. And yep, nothing was done again. He wasn't listed as a runaway and was unlicensed and got released to his family. Shortly after this time, I found out that his family was going to her closed campus school, picking her up for lunch. The dad showed up at my house and pulled a knife on my husband. Nothing was done. Summer of her being 16 and gets a job. And at this point, seem to be completely broken up. The calls start endless from him. Him threatening to get her fired, threatening her friends and family. Again, nothing is done. I tried getting a VPO against this family, and you could guess, nothing. I have had so many false accusations from this family, ranging from her dad is being her to that I am beating her. Every time the cops show up, it's the same story. They know that house and family. They start trouble. They play victim, but nothing ever gets done. Below are the screenshots from boyfriend and his family. I am not sure if they are grooming her or if it's the freedom of them doing whatever they want over there. There is so much more, but we'll save that for the attorney I am talking to. I try not to blame everything on this family because I know some of this is her lying to them. This last time as a family, we all decided to just report her and let her go. But when the post from her boyfriend being home and her just walking away and him not knowing was very concerning, uh, considering the people we are and has been dealing with past two years. And um, I'll show you the, the videos here um, in the pictures. So this one here says, from Kyler, that's why y'all, and there's going to be some language in this. Um, that's why y'all got to fucking have more than one person up on a 16-year-old because y'all are all fucking pussies. And that's why they ain't even take, taking my ass to jail, fucking bitches. And then somebody said, Kyler, don't fucking kidnap people, you fucking inbred. And then they said, not this man giving people advice against himself. Laugh my ass off. I'd shut the fuck up if I were you. And this is a high school. Which is the same case. thing, it's just RAM, it's just silver. 
It says on the side, the high-speed chase the family believes happened. Soon after they were stopped by police, he drove by after his family picked him up, flipping everyone off. So this is what I guess was considered a high-speed chase. Yes, me and my brother and then we're following them on the red truck. This isn't very high speed. Which is the same thing, it's just ram, it's just silver. Wow. Yes, me and my brother and then we're following them on the red truck. It's a little single cab. I can't see it. It's a little single cab. And it says more of the intense high speed chase that, according to my daughter, she slammed on his brakes because he was driving crazy, not the boys chasing him. They were keeping their distance, waiting for cops. It's a little single cab. I can't see it. Wow. It's a little single cab. I can't see it. Is Madison with you? Um, this was, it says three to five business days or so then it says, yes, she is okay. We are just getting everything back to normal. I just needed a break and I had her come with me. We are perfectly fine. Trust me. I was protecting your sister. We will be back in like three to five days. Wow. Good morning. If you or your, and this is a response from family from the high speed chase, right? If you or your two piece of shit sons chase, approach, threaten my son this time, you piece of shits will answer to me. All you are immature dumbasses. They are two kids in love. Threatening my son is you and your son's biggest mistake. You want a piece of someone, y'all come to my house or I will meet wherever you want. Send them here. I don't fucking care. I'm here all day, dumbass. Wow, very mature. Very mature, I must say. So it says that this is the dad, Kyler's dad, the boyfriend's dad. Well, and it says the grooming of wanting my child to get pregnant. Well, your information ain't right 99% of the time anyways. So, and you don't remember even what you said. So anyway, again, screenshot this, do whatever you got to do to put it in your head, do not text me or call me again. And they said, I hope that because you and your ex are so set against my son and your daughter being together, I'm praying with all my heart that they have a child together. Yes, sir. Then what the fuck are you going to do? <laughs> and he replied back, wow, you're praying that 16 year olds have kids. You are a messed up person. And the way they are going, they won't have the kids anyway. So, and I guarantee you, you won't get them being a felon, laugh out loud. And he responds, um, it says the threats that say we do and the they belong together grooming of my child. You are, you are ignorant. I'm in the process of adopting my fourth child. You just don't understand them. Kids are each other's rock. They love each other. By the way, fuckhead, I am a seven-time felon. Get your facts straight. And I have been out for 22 years. If I ever go back, it will be for murder or assault. So keep threatening my son. It would be best if you didn't text me or my son ever again. Once again, I say drop dead piece of shit. My gosh, um, they're vile. Holy smokes, this is so toxic. Jeez. And then it says the endless threats from this family. This was being sent to us while the police were standing there and nothing was done. The boyfriend. Um, we already read this one. Well, most of it. Then at the end says, um, not this man giving, yeah, we already read this one. I think we're back to the beginning. Yeah, so that was, that was the um, beginning of that. So that's, yeah, wow, horrific, 
love disgusting behavior by what's supposed to be adults. And they're the ones that um, Madison is with. I mean, why not just wait until they really are adults and then they can be together? I don't know why you're pushing it for them right now, why they're underage. I, I, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. But um, so that's the update is that she, they believe now is alive, right? They do believe that it's her, that, which is what I said. This is what I said in my last video that I absolutely believe that it probably was her. Um, but the fact is she is not home. So therefore she is not safe. Um, not technically, right? Uh, she is still underage. And she, she just shouldn't be able to free, free go you just wherever she wants. So, anyways, um, I'll keep an eye on this. I'm gonna keep, um, oh, I'm gonna keep an eye on it, and I hope that they are able to get her. I don't know why the police aren't forcing her into their home. I don't get, it. I don't get it. I don't, I don't. I'm kind of at a loss. I get that she's now run away multiple times, so the police don't want to step in, but. You also can't just give in and let them get their way just because they they throw that tantrum or they misbehave in that manner. And so it's easier to just let them do it. That's not, that's not right either. So uh, not an easy situation, but um, I'll keep you guys posted on anything else that comes out. Um, if the brother puts any other updates or the family does, or if police do. Um, thank you for listening, everybody. I hope that you have a really good one. I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Take care.